hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video i swear i always start my videos sat in the car and that is just because i'm usually rushing around like a crazy lady and then when i get in the car and get to where i need to be i have time to speak to you all but i thought i would do a little weekend vlog this weekend because me and jordan are having a sort out the house weekend we have been so busy the past few weeks with holidays and plans and we've just been here there and everywhere between us both we've not had a weekend just us two in the house in what feels like forever so we are going to be doing a little bit of diy a little bit of decorating and of course going to bring you all along with us i've just been a home sense i didn't vlog in there um because i vlogged when i went there the other day however I think I got very lucky because they must have just had a delivery. It was insane. Like, they had so much nice stuff. As you can see, well, I don't know if you can see that. But I've got two bags and two lamps. And I did a lot of damage, which I wasn't actually intending on. I was intending on maybe getting, like, a few little bits and bobs, but I couldn't resist so much in there. And here we are. I think in Home Sense, when you see nice things you've got to just get it otherwise i've been there before where i've thought no i won't get it and then i thought mm, i should have got it went back to try and get it and it's gone with home sense you've got to just get it there and then so that's my excuse for picking up all that stuff i'll give you a haul when we get home also when we get home i'll explain what's happening in the house what we're doing this week basically we're doing the downstairs bathroom which i've already painted so i'll show you that little transformation right now i'm pulled up outside tesco's i'm gonna go get some food for the weekend so we're all stocked it's currently friday i don't know if i said that um but usually we'd go and get food in on saturday but i thought you know what i've got a quieter day today i'll go and get the food shop in today so we can focus on home decor for the next few days so let's head into tesco Let's get some nice things for breakfast and also we're going to make a beef stew on Saturday night because, well actually I'm going to put it in the slow cooker on Saturday morning and leave it all day to cook because we just fancy a really cosy homely meal and that just screams gorgeous autumnal homely vibes to me. So yeah, let's go Tesco. food shop done are you falling kind of looks like you're a bit slant got myself some strawberry laces because listen it's that time girls and i need some strawberry laces i got these with the intention of having them tonight but i had to crack them open and now i've had three they're just my favorite sweet ever on in the day it's actually nearly eight o'clock i've just had a bath and then i had a nice soak in the bath for literally about an hour like fully oiled my body just like really relaxed read my book chilled i then decided that i wanted to wash my hair and give myself a blow dry you know when you just feel like you really need to like 
do some self-care and take care of yourself. So I then quickly jumped in the shower, washed my hair, gave myself a quick blow dry, did my skincare, put my cosy white company pyjamas on and I am now, let me just do that button up, um, and I'm now cosy in the living room and I want to quickly show you what I got from HomeSense because I realised I didn't even show you and I was going to start putting stuff away and I realised I hadn't even give you a little haul. So let's do a little mini HomeSense haul. Okay, so first is this lamp. HomeSense had some incredible lamps in. Like, I wish I had more sideboards or bedside tables to fill because they had some beautiful lamps. This one's got like a black base with the gold in the middle and it's so big. It was $29.99. Lamps like this online that I've looked at are like 80 to 100 pound, like not even joking. Probably cheapest I've seen. This size, like this quality is like 60 quid. They are really expensive, nice lamps, um, especially on some of the websites I've been looking. So when I saw these, I was like, they are perfect for the spare room upstairs. So I had to get them. I can't wait to go and put them in place. I then got this little photo frame. Again, just great to style up shelves like what I've got behind me or console tables. It was only $6.99. And I like when it's got like the glass bit in between the frame i then got pretty boring but just a chopping board i got this to style the shelf in the utility room that's going up tomorrow um i just needed little bits and bobs to style that up and i thought this something in front of it would be a cute vibe i also got this little what is this a vase i don't know what this is a little why why can't i think of the name for this what are you does it say on the bottom no. Well, I mean, you can see what it is. I basically got it again to style up the shelves. Thought it would look really nice on there. They had another one that was bigger, which I debated getting, but I thought I don't need two, so I just got this. But I think, again, on the utility shelf, that'll be a nice little styling piece. I then got this. This caught my eye, and I just thought, do you know what? You're cute. You're coming home with me. When I show you the, not the utility, the downstairs toilet, this goes perfectly with the new colour scheme in there. It's a little fish vase. And I'm going to put it on the windowsill. Maybe get some sort of greenery to go in it. But I just thought it was something a little bit different. In that bathroom, I want to be a little bit quirky. I think I said in this video I was looking for a mirror for that bathroom. I couldn't find one. And then I was thinking, what type of mirror do I actually want in there? I was just going to go for like a standard like round one or whatever. And now I've decided I want something a bit different. So I'm now on the hunt. Um, but I'll explain that when I show you. I also just got a little hand towel fit in there. This was only, how much was this? 4 99 The fish was 19.99, And the vase was 12 99 Another little ornament is this. Again, I just thought good to have for shelves, windowsills, console tables. I just thought it was cute. It was only 9 99 I then got this little candle again for the bathroom. You can probably tell what the theme in there is now. But this was with the little pumpkin candles. But the colour obviously matches what I wanted. And it smells amazing. Like kind of Christmassy but I love that. It's Thyme Pumpkin. And these little mini ones are only 3 99 So good to just have like in a little bathroom or something. Another photo frame. As you can see, I love this style of photo frame. I love that this was like a little open one, like this. And then finally, from Home Sense, I got some tea towels. Because ours get so dirty and I'm always having to wash them. Um, and these kind of match the vibe that we've got in the kitchen. And these were only, they were really cheap. Where's the price? 6 99 for three and they're really thick and big. So I thought that was pretty good. I then popped into Matalan and I got this little basket again for the utility room. Just thought it was quite cute, aesthetically pleasing. And I got this little brush thing, which I'm going to hang off the shelf. Probably won't use it. It's more of a decoration. And that was my haul. I'm going to go and put the bathroom stuff in place. And then I will show you how the downstairs bathroom's looking. And then... I'm going to have a glass of wine and make myself a nice dinner because Jordan's at a work event tonight and I am going to, I've had a bath, pampered myself, give myself a blow dry, I'm going to have a wine, put on a chick flick, eat some sushi and love my little life.
Okay, so I'm going to turn the light on, but the colour goes really funny when I turn the light on. It goes really cool toned and makes the green on the wall look really like weird. Um, but when the light's off, I feel like you can kind of see. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Light's on, but as you can see, I have painted this downstairs toilet. I did it yesterday. I was so nervous to paint the wall this colour because as you all know, our house is pretty neutral. Um, but I wanted this room down here to be a little bit funky, a little bit different. It's obviously not finished, but I still wanted to give you a little update. So we want a big mirror here for above the sink. I've just popped the little candle on there, the towel there. A nice big mirror for this wall because it is quite a big space. And again, I want something quite cool. Um, I'll put some pictures on screen of what I'm thinking. I might even have ordered one by the time this vlog goes live. So if I have, I'll put it on screen. Um, but if not, I'll put some inspo pics. And then on this wall, I'm thinking like a few pictures. Um, but if you've got any ideas, let me know. I definitely need something because it looks very plain. Um, and then on the windowsill, again, need to get some fabric, um, like Roman blinds for here. But we've put the little fish. I've got a next diffuser, which smells amazing, by the way, and a little neon candle. So I'm really happy with the progress in this room for it not to just feel like blank and empty. Yay. Possibly the world's easiest dinner, but I am obsessed with these chicken gyozas. I've mentioned them in loads of vlogs. But I just get them from Tesco, they're in the frozen section. These are the chicken ones. I literally put them in the microwave for three minutes. They are insane. And then I've also got this little M&S sushi, some soy sauce. We'll make it look presentable, but this is my very basic dinner. Girl dinner. And that right there is what you call a girl dinner. Cheers to that. Let's go and pick a chick flick. Enjoy this dinner. Yum. Lazy Sunday mornings hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie, laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two The corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you I never feel alone These little songs Make me glad to call you mine And you have got my head in the clouds oh. One, two, three All that I need is your body next to me On rainy days, just need your company Don't need too much, just your simple love in itself Of hearing your voice every morning I wake to a kiss on my face So oh, I don't need too much Just your simple love Happy Saturday guys We have been on a lovely walk The beef stew is cooking away We've had a lovely breakfast And we are now pulling up to Wix Ready to start our DIY day um, So first stop is Wix We need to get some stuff for the panelling That's happening in the utility we also need to get some paint and then we need to go to we're gonna to go to Barker and Stonehouse because we need like a cabinet for Jordan's office so we're hoping we can find one there we've got a few shops to go to before we get home and crack on the dogs are absolutely knackered because we took them for a long walk and then they've had a treat and they were all cozy it's one of them treats that like really takes them a long time to eat so they're worn out we're ready for a productive day there. yeah and that'll probably be the right height, right? Oh, 
we said 100. So this is what we're getting. It's like pre-done panelling basically. Um, and so we're going to cut it in half. We said, nine, we said 100 max. Yeah, so it's probably just about right. Yeah. And we're going to cut it in half so it can go side by side in the utility. So we need two of these. How much are the only? Oh, they're on sale. £26. Run, don't walk, people. Run. <laughs> just making it a lot easier then because we were going to get like... That one? Uh, I'm not sure. We were going to get like the individual planks and like do it all ourselves. Then I saw this on Wix and I was like, actually, that is perfect. Did you see it on Wix or did you see it on a TikTok? Saw it on a TikTok. Yeah. Can you check for quality? Is that the same one? That one drawing under that. Yeah. Perfect. So it'll go like that, but obviously halved. Right, so we now need to find like a little like rail to go on the top. A dado rail. A dado rail. Let's go. It's a football. Um, really? Quick stop at Greg's mm. for some treats to get us through this DIY. The doggies also both have a treat each. On their blankets. Are you not eating yours anymore? Are you full? Take your time, Lou. Takes you a while to eat treats, doesn't it, darling? Takes her literally hours to eat one treat. It keeps her occupied, which is great. Whereas this little greedy elf eats it dead quick, don't you? Yes. Look at her holding it with her paws. I just can't call. Okay, so this is the current utility. I've just emptied it all. Obviously paint sample on the wall there. But it's a really nice little room. It's perfect. We keep the dog stuff in here, the bin. It's got our washing machine in here. And then we just keep bits and bobs. I really need to clear out this cupboard because I literally just stuck like stuff bin liners and carry your bags in there so i really want to sort this out and get this all organized and get this stuff in there but this is where the transformation is happening so we are having paneling up this wall and then we're having a shelf um, and we're going to paint it so everything has been moved out and is on there my back actually hurts so i'm not going to be able to paint very well with it jordan you have to does anyone else's boyfriend complain the whole way through Every single job. What now? What now? That's what I say every time. What do you want? So, first step is to cut down the panelling because we're going to have to half the big boards that we've got to fit on there. Um, I'll leave link down below everything we've used because it's from Wix and it's all online. So I'll leave it. What have you just done? <gasps> Jordan. Be careful, please. What now? <laughs> so I'll leave everything linked down below. Um, but yeah, let's start this little transformation. We've got the panels up, they are all fitted and ready. We're just waiting for our laser, which is at our friends, um, to put this on the top and then get the shelf up. I'm gonna paint the shelf so that it's already painted before we put it on the wall. Um, and then, yeah, we're pretty much there. Very good progress. It actually was quite easy once like you worked out the measurements and um like got it all cut and stuff it was pretty easy i'm painting the shelf and the walls with egyptian cotton which is one of my faves it's like 
looks like white there but when it's on the wall it's a lot more of like a creamy nude yeah well i'll come and help you with what right so you do know it needs to be like close to there right right close to the yeah that's what i'm saying here okay I wonder how I did this on my own that time when I did my office. It's actually quite good, isn't it? Yeah. Here you go. I do it almost like up the skirt in a little yeah. bit. progress in the utility shelf is up paneling is done i'm so happy with this i can't wait to paint it so it's all going to be egyptian cotton so it'll all be the same color i am so excited you did an amazing job my little cheers. darling cheers we've just sat down john's got a glass of red i've got a glass of rosé the Ooh. beef stew is incredible a whole tiger bread baguette Mash, how amazing for a cosy, cosy night after a productive day. Cheers. Guys, look at this package that just arrived from the Modern Mutt. Callie and Corby have been absolutely spoiled rotten. They sent us such a lovely little note as well, which is so nice. And look at all these goodies. So, we've got two lick mats, pink and blue for Corby and Callie. Yeah, we're going to make them one now. I've wanted to get one of these for ages. Um, they're supposed to be really good. What was that thing that I showed you, Jordan? Like, licking one of these can, like, wear them out because it, like, uses their brain and stimulates and it's supposed to really wear them out. So we've got that. And then what is this that they've sent us? This is the lickable stuff that you put on it. Lickable. I think you... Oh, yeah. Powdered paste. So you put a little bit of water with it and then you spread it on. What flavour is it? chicken superfood blend we've got some lamb treats some little chicken training treats this what is this olive branch but apparently this is supposed to be really good for Callie's teething because it doesn't splinter so she can chew it and it won't hurt her um or like get stuck in her teeth or her throat or be dangerous at all and then we've got these hand crushed biscuits which you sprinkle on top of the treat mat as well for them and then this is just some info on the lick mats. But how lovely is that? They've been absolutely spoiled rotten. So thank you so much for sending those out. And make sure if you've got a little dog and you want to get them some treats or spoil them, go and check out the Modern Mutt. They've got so much stuff on the website. I was having a look. So I will definitely be stocking up if Corby and Callie love the little sure will, lick mats, which I'm sure they will. She's already waiting down there, hungry. I've Thanks never seen... Parmesan. I've never seen Parmesan. Jordan so excited about something in his life. Got Corby's and Callie's. Right, I'll do Callie's. Do them over there. Corby! Ray, right, what have this? we got for you? No, I'll do them over here, babe. What have we got for you? There you go. Is that nice? Is that nice? She's got the same as you, don't worry, you've actually got a little bit more because you're big. Is that nice? Good morning, guys. My hair is crazy. And bear in mind, I washed it two days ago. I think just like, it's just a bit of a hot mess, really. Um, It is Sunday. Yesterday, we had the stew on the night. We enjoyed a bottle of wine or two. And we're actually re-watching Peaky Blinders. We've already watched it once. Um, and we've just started it again from the start. It was one of our faves. So we're watching that. And then we went to bed. We were knackered. So today, cracking on with the home stuff, getting it all finished. Let me show you the update. I think I showed you a little bit, ooh, a little bit last night. Um, but this is how the utility is currently looking. Ignore the plant. I just wanted to put it there to see how it looked. Um, but I'm going to paint all of this today. All of it is going to be this colour, which is Egyptian cotton. 
which we used to have in our old Nottingham house. It's one of my favourite colours actually. I think it looks really nice. So that's all going to get painted today. That should be pretty easy because it's just a small space, two coats and it will be done. Then I can style up this room. I'm also going to like do out the cupboards because there's just no organisation in there. We've got all sorts going on in there. We've got dog stuff, the eye and the dog camera, sun cream. You know, it needs a good organise. The only one that has organisation is this one which obviously I did a few weeks ago in a vlog um, and then that's the washing machine this one there's absolutely no organization I think I showed you I just chuck carrier bags in there so I'm going to organize all that as well so that this is a good functional utility room then through into Jordan's office excuse the mess from my walking boots the floors are disgusting but I don't think I've actually showed you a lot of this room again ignore the mess obviously we've stuffed everything to the middle of the room but all of this is going. So we've done two coats on the walls of this green colour, which is uh, not school. Uh, what's it called? Um, Card Room Green by Farrow and Ball. Um, but I got B&Q to mix it. You know where they do it cheaper and they mix it for you. So that's what that is. Um, and then I am just about to start priming the wood on the top because we're going to paint the top Egyptian cotton as well. We were going to go for something quite similar to what's on our hallway out here, which is Elephant's Breath, Farron Ball. However, I think this is going to be too pinky to go with the green, whereas Egyptian cotton is quite cool tone, so I think it'll go really nice. So that is the plan this morning, to get the first coat of this all done, and then Jordan's office will be finished. We are getting a new desk for in here. It's going to be a nice wooden desk, which sits basically where that is, but pushed right back, so Jordan has his back to this wall we've also got two pictures that go on the wall there i'm gonna buy like a big sideboard side table with lots of storage in for here which we can style up on the top um but yeah this room's getting a full transformation we've got paint in it was one of the main things that we needed to do because we got this paneled literally within one of the first few weeks of us moving in and it's just been like this ever since so we really want this room to feel nice because it's the first room you see when you walk in the house um but yeah, let's get on with priming. Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie. It has been a little while since the last clips were filmed in this video. It's been about a week, nearly maybe two. I'm not sure, but we've been in Mallorca in that time and I'm now back and I went to edit this video um, yesterday to get it up on Sunday for you all. And I realized that it just ended abruptly. Like I didn't even show you the finished product. I didn't finish showing you what we'd done. So it's now Monday. I'm gonna upload this video tonight and I just wanted to jump on quickly and actually show you what it looks like because I'm so happy with it. We've had so many home updates in the last like two weeks. Have I got lipstick in my teeth? No. Um, we've had so many home updates in the last two weeks and I thought we could just end this vlog with showing you a few, a few updates, showing you what we did, excuse my makeup, I feel like it's looking a little bit, it's been on all day to be honest with you and I've been filming a lot today so it's coming off but let me show you some updates because we've got a lot to catch up on. So before we go on to the utility and Jordan's office we now have curtains in the kitchen which is just amazing i love them so much i can't tell you what a difference this makes to the space it just makes it feel so cozy in here so these ones in the kitchen we went for are like a voil is that what they're called they're like sheer um, and we went for track curtains. We got them from Hillary's. I did put on my Instagram asking for recommendations and a few people said Hillary's. I thought they just did blinds because it's Hillary's blinds, but they do curtains and they were great. I highly recommend they come out to your house, measure up, bring the sample book so you can like see them in the house and see what sample you want. Um, they then give you a quote if you want to book them. You book in and um, you get in a date to come and do it for you so really quick really great service and i do highly recommend so yeah not an ad or anything fully paid for all these curtains ourselves but i recommend them we have also had curtains fitted in the living room again the track curtains this time we went for like a thicker kind of like what color is this 
Don't really know how to describe that, but it goes perfectly with our living room. You can see them over here as well. They need to have a bit of a steam and they need the creases to fall out because they're pretty new. Um, but just so happy with them. The difference that curtains make to making a room feel cosy is wild. Like, I'm just so happy we've got them. We've also got them in the bedroom upstairs and they're the exact same as this upstairs. And it matches our headboard pretty much perfectly. Hello, little darling boy. Hello, mommy's angel. Such a clever boy today. Let's get that fur out your eyes. Okay, so first update is that Jordan's office is now finished. We finished painting in here. Um, ignore this. This is all going to be changing. We're getting a new desk. It's currently just got everything stuffed on it. So let's just pretend that's not there. Also ignore this old lamp from like our flat in Nottingham multiple years ago. We're getting a big standing lamp for there. I'm so glad we went for this green in here because I think it works so well, it looks lovely. And then we also have a new sideboard in here. So we wanted something with lots of storage. This was an absolute find. So we found this in Barker and Stonehouse. It was supposed to be 3,000 pound. It was reduced to, I think, 799. It is such good quality. It's so thick. It was X display. And to be honest, it hasn't really got many marks. It's got a little scratch on the leather here. Um, but we could just, you know, move that to cover it. Um, but apart from that, it's literally in perfect condition. So I'm so happy with it. And it's got so much storage, which is exactly what we needed. So this isn't exactly styled properly how we want it yet, but this is just me playing around in here. I've put two coffee table books here the speaker, Jordan's decks, we're gonna get some sort of wall art for here. And then this little balloon dog funky situation thing, just because this is more the vibe of our house. Bless you, darling. This is more the vibe of our house. It feels quite quite traditional in here. So we wanted to bring some more of like the color and the, you know, the vibe in here, especially with it being where Jordan's decks are and stuff like that. So then we've got a little candle from HomeSense and a little diffuser there. But yeah, once we get some art on the walls there, a desk that matches the color of this, a light, a lamp, it'll be a vibe. Onto the utility, which you obviously saw us decorating in this vlog. Here is how it's finally looking. Honestly, I was so happy with how this turned out. This room now feels like an actual room and doesn't just feel like somewhere where we just chuck stuff. So I'm so happy with how this little DIY project turned out. It was honestly so cheap as well to do. It was so easy. I highly recommend if you're looking to just like spruce up a little space. Such a good idea. So obviously we've got our ninja on there. One of the drawers is getting washed currently. We've got the little home sense dog treat pot which looks great on there we've got our little soda stream and then that's a convenient time to come and have some dinner you two and then up here we've styled the shelves with this little plant which obviously you saw I got from Ikea a print from Decennial which I've had for years a little jar from Ikea which I put in special champagne or prosecco cork so I've got a cork from when we got engaged when we moved in just loads of random things a little basket there from Ikea, little photo frame from HomeSense, white company candle, HomeSense chopping board, HomeSense, little bar situation. But yeah, really love this room, really happy with how this turned out. So yeah guys, that is a few little home updates for you all. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Sorry that I missed the upload yesterday. Like I said, I completely forgot that I didn't even show you all the updates, so I had to quickly do that today before uploading. But I love you all so much. I will see you in the next vlog. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you did enjoy it. And as always, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.